speaker has promised that he's going to teach you in five minutes how to build an active, passive recession buster solar heater. <coughs> so remember about the thing he sent you was he built one of these in a weekend and uses it to heat his office or something. So he knows what he's doing. So Josh Raymond is a corporate leadership consultant, managing director of Phase 4 Partners. He's a communications and marketing expert, creative services guru, including writing, editing, and photography with post-production CS3. I assume some of you know what that is. <laughs> if not, great conversation starter on the break when you run into him. So please welcome Josh Raymond. Everybody knows that we get about 300 sunny days a year. I'm going to show you how to build a passive solar heater that's uh, inexpensive, great weekend product, great for you to do with your kids, and you can use it to heat your office or your garage or whatever. Okay. This is uh, one sample of uh, a solar heater. And you notice that up here, it comes in, the cool air comes in, down goes down, the back end, back side gets heated by the sun and comes out all in one place. You can see it over here in the window. This is a nice shape. The one we built is like this. The cool air comes in the bottom, sun heats it, and we use aluminum cans here, which I'll go into. Hot air comes out. And you can see on the unit that we built, it comes in the bottom like this, heated, and goes out that way. Okay, if you're gonna build a solar heater, the first thing you need to do is do a diagram, get your design in place. And this is paramount. It took me months to find the dimension of a can, other than just measuring, I kept looking for it. But this is where you start. This is sort of like your ground zero. When you know this, you can build anything from it. We needed 85 cans to, for our solar heater. And you can get those at recycling places, uh, high schools, restaurants. And then the common tools you're going to need. Basically things in your uh, garage or your basement. Tin snips, hand saws, whatever. Uh, you're going to have to purchase some things, I assume. You're going to get some uh, caulk. Uh, you need about four tubes of caulk. You need about three cans of uh, spray paint. And then you get a four by eight sheet of one inch insulation. And we got our window box from the store for $15. So I'm gonna quickly show you how you can work on the can. You take your tin snips and cut about a half inch, quarter inch on each side of the tab, push it in and use gloves. I was using mirror hands here, which goes wrong, right? Use gloves to push it in and then you can put some holes around here. On the bottom side, you do the same thing. You put a hole in the center with your ice pick and I use uh, pliers, do those pliers to widen it and put four holes around it. You want to make sure you put them a little bit toward the center because you're going to be gluing the end of the can to build your can towers. Next, you want to soak these overnight. Just use a dish soak, you can use a trash can, or you can, if you're lucky enough, or can get away with it, use a bathtub. But you let them soak overnight, like, stir them occasionally so they, they do get, um, they, they do soften up in the soda or whatever comes out of it. Next day, you want to dry it after you rinse it. And this is a critical stage of your whole project. You've got to get your uh, quality control team here. <laughs> if, you, if they're not there, the project is not going to work with them. You're guaranteed success. So get them involved early. Then you build the box. And basically, you put a sheet of plywood on the bottom. It was scrap. And then you put you know, the layer um, of insulation in the bottom of it. And then on the outside, the edges like this. And you all glue that one in with caulk. It's pretty straightforward. You want to build the towers next. You take two boards, maybe five or six feet long, nail them together, and then you can slide the cans down them, right along here. And you glue the top of each can, slide it down, just slide it down. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on them. And you just roll them out so they can dry. Um, then you put the cans into the uh, box itself. And you want to use caulk to hold that in place. And then you use your spray, spray paint. Probably uh, two or three coats will take care of it. But you do everything on the inside of the box. We moved this to the front of the house, and you can see there's a problem here. We've got shadows, and I was thinking, gosh, it would work well, but the shadows are too much, so I was thinking maybe we could put it on the railing. It didn't look good. So we did a temporary solution and put it in front in front of the, uh, the grill work there. I ended up putting a fan in this. You really didn't need to do it because the, the convection was so strong that you don't need the fan didn't help at all. So I wasted a couple hours doing that. And then this shows just how you uh, insulate no, oh, okay, it's working. So this is just a sample here. This is coming out of the office, connecting to the bottom of the um, heater, and then coming out of the top of the heater there into the office. And that had it coming right across my desk, so I had warm air by 9 o'clock in the morning. 
Quick way to find out where True South is while you're positioning it. In the newspaper, you'll find the time. In this example, there's nine hours, 24 minutes. Divide by two, add that, 4.42 to 7.15, and you'll know exactly where True South is. We built this in November, and it was right in here in this line here for the angle determination, which was great, because then we could go down to the winter solstice and then back up to March, and it was perfect. So you want to get your angles right and everything's positioned properly. When you do that, you've got to get your brackets. Once you have it set, put your brackets in, screw it in place, clean your glass, and then you glue it in place, seal it so it works. And then that's basically the process. Kiss your tears first. Thank you very much. Thank you.